Hi, beautiful. Do you want to get banged? Because me too. Today, we'll be going over how to do a beautiful side swept bang, a front bang, and one of my favorites, a baby bang or a micro bang, whatever you want to call it. Fringe or bangs are a great way to change up your style without losing length all over. I know you're all in isolation right now and you're ready to just take the plunge and cut those bangs yourself. Today, I'll show you how to do that properly so you don't end up like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've created this easy step-by-step -step guide to help you cut your hair with confidence. Let's get banged and let's get started. Let's do it. <laughs> So are you still unsure about what kind of bangs you want? You don't know if you want side bangs, baby bangs, front bangs. Well, let me help you with that. Long side swept bangs are gonna be great for those of you that are wanting a low maintenance bang or fringe. These are easy to grow out, easy to style. You can put them back, you can wear them forward. It doesn't matter. They're pretty versatile and just easy. Great bang for a bang beginner, maybe like yourself. You can always work your way up, but you can't grow your hair back that fast. Now front bangs, which is the second thing I'll be showing you with a little bit of face framing layering is a great option for those of you looking to do a real bang. People that want to really get a fringe going on. People that really want something that's going to severely change up their style, make them look a lot different. They're ready for a change. Give it to me. And a baby bang is for those of you who maybe have already had a front bang. You're just ballsy as hell and you're ready for a big change. And you're like, give me the most drastic bang you can give me. I want to feel different. I want to look bad then a baby bang might be right for you. First of all, let's go over the tools you'll need to accomplish whatever bangs you're going for. For our side sweat bang moment, you're gonna need a razor, okay? I highly recommend getting a razor for this. Mine looks like this, it's a little scary. I will link some below for you. Also, you're gonna need a comb. It doesn't need to be as fabulous as mine, but I highly recommend it. It really helps with your cutting skills if you have a great comb, a beautiful pink one, or a black one will do, I guess. These two are great for side sweat bangs. However, However, you can use scissors, but I will not be showing you how to do that today with a side swept bang because guess what? It's way easier with a razor and just get one, okay? It'll make your life so much easier. It'll just be so much more fun, okay? Just do it. These are what you're gonna need for a side swept bang. For a front bang moment going straight across, you're gonna need scissors. Hair cutting scissors, please don't use kitchen scissors or office scissors. They guys, they just suck. It's not fun. Just don't, just go get some. You can find them everywhere. You can order them online, I'll link it below. And you're also gonna need a comb for this. And for our baby bangs, I highly recommend one of these and a comb. Clippers are amazing for making really straight lines, especially when you're going really short with your bangs. It gets difficult to do with scissors. Clippers really help, makes everything so much easier. Highly recommend it. You can use scissors, but this is way easier. I just get it, okay? It'll be linked below. And now for the optional items that I highly recommend having, but you do not need, I would recommend a spray bottle. These are really handy. Metal clips like this. These are three and a half inch duckbill clips. They are amazing. They're so easy to use and they clip up small sections at a time very firmly. And then lastly, I recommend having a blow dryer or a flat iron or both, a flat brush or a round brush, just something to style your hair with. With bangs, it's pretty necessary to give them a sort of style after you're done cutting them to lay them in place correctly if your hair is used to being parted. So that would be good to have. Okay, should I bring in my client for today now? Can you guess who it might be? Miss Manny Quinn, come on in girl, come on in. Come on. Come, come, I'm, come on. Ah, thank you. Thank you for being here, Miss Manny Quinn. She has this beautiful yellow front piece going on. Ooh, I love her color. I'm obsessed with it. It's like a dusty blue and purple with a neon yellow bang. It'll be fun to cut. What I've done here is wash her hair, prepped it with, of course, force field heat shield to protect her hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and have her style last a lot longer and have her blow dry time cut down. So we used that to prep her hair, blow dried it and flat ironed it into place. Now I like to, when I'm cutting bangs, I like to have it 
ironed down kind of flat in the front and get rid of your part. Now, this isn't gonna work for curly hair people. For curly hair people, I think most of you know that you should not cut your bangs straight if you're gonna wear them curly or else you'll run into problems. So this is not the tutorial for you. Cutting curls is much more freehand and artsy and fun. This is for our girls that are gonna wear their bangs straight. Now your hair should be prepped beautifully, all right? Let's get that straight. I want it dry. Typically, I would maybe cut bangs sweat to start, but since we're doing this at home, I like you guys to know how much your bangs are going to kind of like pop up after. If we go in on wet hair, a lot of people end up cutting their hair too short and it makes a mess. And then you have these really awkward looking bangs for like a couple months and it's like annoying. So now let's talk about a touchy subject. I want to tell you guys how to section out your bangs. So there are a few different ways to do this because some of you guys like your bangs thicker. Some of you guys like them thinner. You can experiment with this. You can always add more later. I highly recommend just starting off with a thinner bang and you can work more hair in there later. But I like to kind of put the head forward, you know, brush it in its natural kind of state. You're gonna kind of see what hair falls forward. You're just putting your head slightly tilted forward like this and kind of seeing what falls. So we wanna go from the eyebrow up to the top while our head is still forward like that. So we're gonna bring our part. It's gonna be like two little triangles and make one bigger triangle, you will see here. We're dragging it from the top down to the end of her eyebrow and that is one side sectioned. We can either put this behind your ears, you can put it in a hair tie, or you can clip it up with a metal clip like I have. All right, so that is one side. We'll do the other side the exact same. So we're just letting the hair fall forward. We are going from the same spot. We started the last section up here and we're gonna drag it down to the end of her eyebrow and clip the rest back. Okay, so that is my sectioning. As you can see, it's like one big triangle going up and like that. So that is the sectioning. And if you're like, whoa, Brad, that's a really thick section and yours is looking really thick at home and you don't want your bangs that thick, please be my guest, make them a little thinner. You can just take off some more from the side and bring it back. Or you can bring this up a little bit so it's not so deep in the back of your head. Please make sure you're not going like to the back of your head with the sectioning. Stop like a third of the way. Don't go any farther than that or else you'll look kind of weird. And if it ends up being too thin when you're done, you can always add more hair later. But if you've ever had bangs before, you'll know that if you don't cut enough of your bangs, you'll end up putting your head forward and you'll get a lot of long pieces hanging down in between your bang area, which is so annoying. I like to make sure that I'm cutting just far enough back so that when she puts her head forward, there's not all little hairs hanging in between her short bangs. And please make sure before you start sectioning out this first section, your hair is parted where you normally part your hair. And if you say, I don't have a normal part, Brad, I part all over the place, then just do it in the middle. Now we're gonna take this big section, we're gonna cut it in half wherever our part is. Oh, this is gonna look so cool with the color in the middle. I'm gonna clip this away. You can put this behind your ears or do whatever with you. You can let it hang in the front. Now we have that. That is what we have left now. All right, we're looking beautiful here. Okay, now I'm gonna take out my razor. This thing is so handy dandy because it just makes everything so much easier. Trust me, doing this kind of technique with scissors is just a pain in the ass. It takes so long. This is just like a one shot. You're like, Brr, done. It's very fun. It's very simple. You don't need a razor like this. They, they have razors that are a little less complex. This is like a straight razor, more for like barbers, but I like to use it for this stuff. So we're gonna take that entire section. We're gonna comb it out. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. Whatever's more comfortable for you. I prefer like this, just kind of pinching it. All right, we're not twisting anything. We're not doing anything weird. Like just cut the damn bangs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take the razor and start from from the inside near the bottom of the nose. You're going to pull it a little bit tighter in order to use the razor. And I'm just gonna take off a little bit at a time and just look at what I've done and then work my way up. And it's all about going at a slant. It's gonna start off shorter in the center and get a little longer on the sides. O-M-G. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my first little cut. That looks great. Okay, so that is the shortest I want it to be right there. And I'm gonna drag the next section a little bit lower than what I just did and continue to go down rapidly, okay? I'm just going down and cutting. 
And look at that, she already has a damn side bang. Do you see how easy that is with a razor? Like, come on, you would be here forever if you had scissors right now. Okay, so now that our first cut is done, I really like the way it looks. It's looking nice and feathered. It really goes down the side of her face. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna clean it up now. So I'm just gonna take my fingers, kind of like go down the sides, just add a little more texture in there. I'm going very lightly. If you're already happy with where your bangs are, you don't need to do this step. You can leave them where they are, but I just wanna give it a little bit more flair and just cut off those really long pieces that are kind of still in there. Okay, so this is just me thinning out the ends. I'm just kind of like taking the razor and just taking little pieces off. The secret is just not do a lot at once. Work your way up, check it out. I think it needs a little bit more of a slant. Right there, that looks nice. Okay, and they are very straight right now, so it'll have to be like blow dried in order to really see that end result. And that's one side done. Do you see how easy that was? That was like two minutes of my time. So simple. If you just follow my directions, take your time, it'll look great. Okay, so that is one side. Now, all we have to do is match up the other side. Easier said than done. Let's take down that next section, comb everything forward. Now, we're going to just start off by taking a tiny section on the opposite side that we just cut. See where this first piece is that we cut on this side? We're going to match it up with this one. Okay, so now that we have both sides cut up here and they are the same length, we're now just gonna do the same thing where we take that piece and we just drag it down and add some length and some roundness on the sides. All right, so that was my first cut. As you can see, it's way too long on this side, so we're gonna bring it up just a little bit. We're gonna take a little section at a time and just cut away at it. Okay, so now that I'm pretty happy with where I am, I'm gonna take both pieces on each opposing side and I'm gonna pull it down and just make sure they're the same length and then a piece in the very center and make sure they're the same length and they are so we're all good. And if it isn't the same length, just trim it up a little bit more and make sure that it's all even. Now normally I would just blow dry the hair and be done with it, but I will just let it down and show you guys. We are gonna move on to the next type of bang, so I'm not gonna style our hair right now, but this is the gist of it. It looks a little funky because her hair is so straight, but if you give her a little bevel at the end, she has these beautiful side bangs going on. Yes! Oh, she looks fabulous. And so those are the side bangs. She looks fierce. I love the color with this. Oh, damn girl, you look hot. Never mess with a girl with a side bang, okay? That's all I have to say. I love it. And I could probably just get rid of a little bit more of the thickness at the bottom of her hair if I really wanted to. I could keep working this for a little while, but for today's video, I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna move on to the next kind of bang, which is a front bang, okay? Let's get those sections back out like we just learned in the previous. So it's the same sectioning that we just did. And if you kind of fast forwarded past that, go back and watch how I sectioned the last bangs out and come back to this. For this, you're gonna need some shears, some hair cutting shears, I will link below. We're gonna cut some damn front bangs. We're gonna comb everything forward. Hopefully you have no part going on. Everything is really straight down in the front of your face. You can kind of get your eyes out there to look. So we are gonna take that tiny little section in the center. It's basically right on top of the nose. We're going to figure out kind of where we want the bangs to land. Typically I like, you know, like eyelash area. You can always work your way up. You can start off longer than that and work your way up. So what I'm gonna do is take my comb, lay the hair on it just like that, so there's no tension, right? We're not pulling the hair down straight, and we're not doing that because the hair will bounce back up a lot after you cut it, and you'll be like, why did I cut my hair that short? That's because you had too much tension. So we're gonna have no tension when we're cutting bangs. We're just gonna let it sit on the comb like that, or between your fingers, if it feels more natural, you can do it like that. But this feels good to me. I'm just gonna take that little section in the center, Cut about right there. This is like in the middle of her eye. We're gonna point cut. 
all right? So we're not cutting straight across horizontally, we're cutting a little bit vertically, okay? Just like this, not like this, not like this, but just in the middle. That'll make the line not too straight. It'll give you a little room for error and just begin cutting straight across. And you can go back and forth, fix that line, bring it up a little bit and then let it go. Beautiful, great job. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Just pat myself on the back. We have our center piece cut. That is the length we're going for right there. Now we are going to bevel the sides out a little bit. We don't want it straight across the entire way. We want it to come down a little bit. Let's work on one side at a time. Pick whichever side you wanna work on first. And we'll start with that. We're gonna then section that side out into two. We are going to do the same thing we did in the center, laying that on the comb. And since I'm working from the outside in, I'm gonna keep this a little bit longer on the outside and work in towards the center and match up with that piece in the center you cut. See how we have just that tiny bit of beveling going on? It's just going down around her face. Now I'm gonna blow dry these so they're out of her face a little bit after. So don't worry if they're like literally in your eye. That looks great though. Now for this last section, we are gonna take that on our comb. I'm working from the outside in on this side. I'm gonna work from the inside out on the next side. And I'm gonna start off really low and work my way up to the point we just cut and match it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, we're sectioning this into two. We are taking this piece. We are working from the inside out on this side and we are just going down, slightly down with our point cuts. Okay, eyeball that, make sure they're the same on both sides. I'm gonna take a little bit more off here because I just feel like it's a little too jagged. And now for this last piece, I'm not even gonna pick it up in my comb. I'm just gonna let it sit there. You can pick it up in your comb if you want to, but this is how I'm gonna do it because it feels the most natural. Just feel it out, girl. Feel it out, live your extra life, be a little hairstylist for a second. And I'm just gonna cut it right against her face. Please don't poke your eye out, be careful. It scares me. And I am going to cut it down. And I'm just gonna continue to cut down and bring that length down the sides, okay. And again, I'm just using both my fingers to see if it's even on both sides. It is, that's good, good for me. Okay, so clearly the bangs are very thick right now. I'm not really feeling them yet. But if you cut a very thin section, you might be able to stop here and it'll be fine for you. However, I wanna get rid of a little bit of this chunkiness going on. These are some chunky bangs. She needs to get rid of a little bit of it. So we're gonna section out that middle section again and we are going to pull it up like that. See how I just did that? I pulled it straight up from her head and you see that really tall point? Point cut that off. This is so awkward. I'm like sitting down. I can't even see the top of her head, but we're, we're making do here. That's gonna give you a little bit of layering in the bang. And we're gonna just do another section on one of the sides. We're gonna cut that off. I'm gonna try and look next time I do that. <laughs> and one more section on the very side. And I'm gonna repeat that on the opposing side. Okay, I'm much more happy with that. And again, I hope you guys can see me, but I'll show you just one more time. So I took a section down the center first. I lifted it up. So now we are like this. And there was a high point here. There's a little bit more. I'm just gonna cut that high point off and let it down. And it's gonna give me beautiful layering like it has. You see how that yellow is coming through now? That's because I chopped up those layers on the top. This is pretty good where we are. Um, normally I'm, I will add a lot more stuff in there. Like I'll do some trick cutting, going in there and getting rid of more of the bulk. But for today's purposes, I'm not gonna make it too fancy, just enough for you guys to follow at home. All right, I'm gonna quickly round brush her bangs just to give them a little bit more of a bevel and I'll be right back. And voila, now she has the cutest bangs ever with the coolest color ever. Oh, I'm obsessed. She looks so cool. I could totally stop here, but I'm a hairdresser and I like to overdo things. Um, I'm gonna take my shears and I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna connect. I'm just gonna take a tiny little piece out from the side of her hair. I'm going to then just 
cut downwards and connect her bang to the length of her hair and give her some face framing layers to go with it, all right? Just to open her face up a little bit more. That looks good to me, not too much. And I don't even know if you can see the difference, but she got a little bit of layering now. That's a super easy technique um, just to connect. She has all this little bit of hair going into her face now on this side, and it's pretty much just straight down there. This one looks more like a finished haircut. This one looks like it isn't finished yet. So let's finish it up. Beautiful. Now she has a fully finished cut. Ah, oh, and she looks fierce. Woo! Is it hot in here or is it just this mannequin getting hotter? Hot, hot, hot. She looks amazing. I'm obsessed with this bang on her. I'm kind of sad to see it go in a second, but we're gonna do one more type of bang to finish off the video. And there's a bug flying on my screen. Get out! All right, now it's time to do the Baby bang, oh, one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so it's gonna be the same exact sectioning as last time. It's gonna be the same sort of deal, but we're bringing it up high. So get yourselves one of these things, okay? And we are going to, once again, just section off that hair, how we had it before. So we are going to section just a little bit out. If you're starting with longer hair, definitely clip these pieces back and just leave yourself with a little bit in the center to work with. But since mine's already cut, I'm just going to kind of push these away a little bit. It's not that serious. It's all going to get cut anyways, but I'm going to work in the center just slightly above her eyebrow and just go right in. Make sure everything is level and go right in. and cut the hair and drag it down. <gasps> and that is our first cut. I know, it looks crazy, but I love it. We are then just going to section out another piece on this side. Everything's the same, you know, we're just going across. I'm just gonna do this entire section all together because it's easier for me, but I'm going to then just take that guide and carry it over. All right, that is our second little cut. And again, and again. <gasps> she looks so pretty. They look a little wonky because of how I just styled them, but we'll fix that in a minute. And again, on the other side, it's the same thing. This is quite easy. Really, you just have to have a steady hand and make sure you're going level and straight across and just following your guide on each side. So let's finish that up. Do you see why though I like to use the clippers instead of scissors? Like we would have been here for so long using scissors and we already did that entire thing. And I didn't have to hold my breath while doing it because I wasn't nervous. Just gonna add a little bit more hair to this side to even it off. Okay, we have that now. Ooh, we have baby bangs, yes. Um, you can go up even shorter. I'm not gonna go any shorter because her hair will just poke straight up, but you can totally go really short with baby bangs. I think it's so fun. I am just gonna blow dry this very straight and come back and do the finishing touches. Okay, so I finished blow drying her bangs, but I wanted to come on and show you guys how I get these so straight and flat. So when you're blow drying bangs, you wanna direct the heat this way. You wanna comb everything to one side and then comb everything to the other side and then comb everything down. And make sure you're working on damp hair when you're doing this. You can kind of pre-blow dry it and then work your way like that. And then I use a flat brush and just brush it all down and just keep going until everything is dry. And that gives you really straight bangs with no parting. We could have gone even shorter, but today we're leaving her there. All right, so let's bring down the sides. Let's check what's going on here. Oh girl, you look good. Okay, the bangs are looking fierce, but I noticed a few things that I wanna change. So I'm gonna take my scissors now. I'm just going to trim up the few long pieces that are hanging down on the sides. You know, just trim that up a little bit and just making sure it goes to the end of her eyebrows. I really like to show the eyebrows and open up the face a little bit more with baby bangs. It's important to have the bang go far enough to this side or else you're gonna really close in your face. It's not gonna look very good. Okay, she looks fierce. Now I already added some layering on the sides, um, but we can add a little bit more 
Um, I would highly recommend this if you have baby bangs. You can get some really cool layering with this around the face if you just kind of, you know, do the same thing where you just drag down the shears. Uh, but I mean, the layering's already there, so we're not gonna add too much more. How cool does her color look with these bangs? Like I love the little center of yellow with the blue and purple on the side. Yo, she looks sick. I am very happy with this. I think she looks amazing. You could bring your bangs up even higher if you wanted to, but she looks so pretty and I love it. Um, this is a baby bang or a micro bang. Fun. I don't know which one was my favorite. I think it's these because it's so edgy and like cute and different and like with the color it looks stunning, but I don't know, I love them all. It's see how different like each look we did was just by kind of switching up the length of the bang. It's really interesting how you can just completely change somebody's looks with just a bang trim. And again, that took a matter of minutes because we had our clippers so much faster. The results are so much better than if you were to use scissors with this. Thank you, Miss Manny Quinn. You just got three different types of bangs and uh, she got bang the hell out. Girl, I'm jealous. Um, And you're gonna go back into your closet. I love you so much. Um, you look amazing. Uh, just, you gotta get off my set now. So that concludes my bang tutorial for today. Those were three beautiful, different, unique types of bangs and three different, beautiful, unique ways to cut them. I hope you learned a lot today and I wish you all the success while cutting your bangs. And if you end up using this tutorial to do your own bangs, please send me pictures, tag me on Instagram, tweet me. I would love to see the results. And make sure you guys follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram under BradMondoNYC. And then also you can find me on Facebook and Snapchat under BradMondo. And you can also shop XMondo Hair at XMondoHair.com. It is linked below. You can also follow us at XMondo Hair on Instagram to stay up to date with new product launches happening all the damn time. And with that all said, don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you next time. Bye guys. This is Hydromania, our conditioning mist. This is gonna be great for those of you with dry hair, curly hair, anybody who needs extra help detangling their hair after they've shampooed and conditioned. She is gonna help you with smoothing, with hydrating, with adding shine, but all in a lightweight formula.